Summer's officially in full swing. It's getting light early in the morning, which means we can get out on the water earlier in the morning and get on these crappie, set up on their summertime patterns. In this video, I'm gonna talk about my favorite setups for summertime fishing on lakes, on rivers, and on reservoirs. Huge thank you to the sponsor of this video, Crappie Monster. Go to OTHfishing.com, use promo code DAVIS for 20% off your entire order. Get loaded up on some summertime crappie baits. And if you're in the market for a net, check out their nets. They got three different models. They have their scoper net, which is one I carry in my boat all the time. It's super compact, compacts down to about four feet put in my rod locker. They got their outlaw net, which for those of you that fish with the longer rods or your fishing guide, it extends all the way out to 12 feet. And then they got their brand new Pro Series net, which is a little bit bigger of a hoop. So for those of you that are big water fishermen or catching some big fish, that's the net for you. So you go to OTHfishing.com, use promo code DAVIS for 20% off your entire order site-wide. Huge thanks to Crappie Monster for sponsoring this video. So since I'm up north right now, let's start with the rigs that I'm gonna be using up north this summer. And specifically, let's start with the rigs that I'm gonna be using on our lakes. Um, the two main rods that I'm gonna be using for casting, because up north we do a lot more casting, we're fishing a lot of the deeper weed edges on our natural lakes. So the two main rods I'm using for that, the seven and a half foot ACC with a 2000 size PC Fun uh, Viper X reel. So the reason I love these seven and a half foot rod is because it's a great multi-species rod. As you can see here, I got a lipless crankbait set up here. I'm actually on the river right now going after some walleye. Um, typically, if I'm just crappie fishing, I'm probably running like a six pound mono or six pound fluorocarbon. Um, but because we're going for walleye today, we're going 10 pound braid. And then I have a uh, eight pound fluorocarbon leader. But this is a great casting setup for both light jigs up down, all the way down to like a 16 ounce jig. And I'm using a, this is actually a um, 1 8 ounce lipless. You can use probably up to about a quarter, 3 8 of an ounce is probably pushing it a little bit with this rod. This is more of a medium light action rod, but it is a great setup uh, for casting a lot of jigs. Another casting rod that I do love using. And if you're a bank fisherman, I'd probably recommend this one because it's a little bit more compact. This is the six foot six. Um, medium action rod that ACC offers. Got the classic beetle spin with a crappie monster mega grub tied onto that right there. 1 8 ounce uh, ACC crappie sticks jig. This is the 2000 size PC Fun Viper X reel, six pound mono. This is my, I mean, this is pretty much my go to casting crappie setup. Um, six pound mono, 1 8 ounce jig, curly tail. I mean, casting over some weed edges, uh, some deeper weed edges this time of year. Great way to catch some fish on our natural lakes up north. And can't forget the bobber setup. Now, the bobber setup can be either the live minnow setup or a bobber and jig setup like I have here. This is the Crappie Monster Small Fry with a 1 16th ounce ACC Crappie 6 jig. And I just got a little slip bobber setup, but this is the eight foot. This is my go-to slip bobber rod. Um, 1,000 size PC Fun Viper X reel and six pound mono again. This is a great setup for fishing aggressive fish with the bobber and jig setup. If the fish are not that aggressive, go to a live minnow, um, cast it right on the pockets of these weeds or if you can find a point on, on some of these weeds that jut out. If you're fortunate enough to fish on some lakes that have crappie cribs or crappie brush piles that get put out there by the Lake Association, this is another great way to catch them in some deeper water this time of year. So let's talk about river fishing really quick. Um, probably my go-to setup Again, another six and a half foot ACC rod. This is a 1 8 ounce uh, ACC jig with a crappie monster small fry. This is my go-to setup for casting over some shallower rock piles. A lot of times these crappie are gonna just kind of suspend over some shallower rock piles if they can find it on the backside of current. Um, also, there's a lot of docks on the river that I'm on right now, big marina systems, dock shooting. Even though I don't see a ton of people doing it, it's a great way to catch some giant crappie up north on our river systems, the St. Croix, the Mississippi River. It's a great way to catch these fish. Six and a half foot rod, one eighth ounce jig. You could probably go to a 1 16th or even down to a 1 32nd if they're really lethargic on some of these docks if you're trying to shoot them under there and get that jig to slowly fall down. Six pound mono, uh, 1,000 or 2,000 size Viper X reel. Really depends on what you're trying to do. Uh, 
but this is a great setup on the river system. Always have this tied on on the boat. So the other setup again is the eight foot rod. Now, I don't necessarily always use this for a slip bobber rod. This is a great hybrid between casting slip bobbers or pitching slip bobbers away from the boat, but you can also vertical jig with this, this rod because it's eight foot long. You can get that jig pretty far away from the boat, but just by dropping the rod tip. Um, so this is a great setup that I use quite often. And the last setup I would use is one of the ACC longer rods. So a 10, 11, 12, even the 13 foot rods. You don't see too many guys using them up north, but on a lot of the river systems, probably down south, you'll see guys using the 10 to 12 foot rods or, or longer. Um, it's a great way to set that jig on a brush pile or a lay down on a bend of the river and just drop that jig straight down way in front of the boat with that longer rod. Um, or if you're fishing kind of maybe a backwater eddy and there's a, a big tree, just a great way to be uh, very accurate with dropping that jig right in front of the fish's mouth is that 10 to 12 foot or that 13 foot rod. Um, so those are the setups I would be using on a river system. Now let's talk about your big reservoirs. So on your big reservoir systems, typically uh, I'm thinking like Lake of the Ozarks, uh, Bull Shoals, Lake Fork, you know, if you have a lot of docks, it's probably going to fish the same as a lot of these river systems. So you're going to be doing dock shooting, especially Lake of the Ozarks. I've fished that with Ky my buddy Kyler Beckman for a number of years um, throughout most of the season, whether it was winter, fall, spring, summer, there's typically crappie to be found on some docks. So having a dock shooting rod, six foot six ACC rod with either a 16th ounce or down to a 32nd ounce jig, you can maybe go to a 1 8th ounce like I have here if you felt like you needed a faster fall rate to help trigger a bite. Um, either a 1,000 size or a 2,000 size reel. This is the 2,000 size Viper X. Six pound, you could probably even go down to four pound test depending on the time of year, you know, summertime you get away with six pound, but if you're fishing during the winter time shooting those docks, um, you could probably go down to four pound to just to help to slow down the rate a little bit. Um, but dock shooting on a reservoir system with a lot of marinas, a lot of big dock systems, great way to catch a ton of fish. Another way to do it in the old standby, slip bobber and jig setup or slip bobber and live minnow setup. This time of year on a lot of reservoir systems, uh, crappie are set up on some deeper brush piles, deeper trees, lay downs, maybe in some stake beds that you put in um, when the water level is really low. A slip bobber and minnow or a slip bobber and jig setup is a great way to catch those fish. And the last that I'd recommend, you probably see this a ton down south or you know, maybe even the middle part of the country, those 10 to 12 or 13 foot jig poles being able to use a double jig setup and drop those jigs right on a crappie's mouth, whether it's in suspended timber um, or on those deeper brush piles. It's a great way to catch crappie this time of year. And uh, again, I'm probably for those, I'm, I'm gonna go with a little bit smaller reel because the way it's such a big rod, you don't wanna have as much, you wanna have as least amount of weight as possible. So on a 10 to 12 foot rod, I would recommend a smaller reel like this 1000 size reel, um, just because the weight of the rod if you're fishing all day, it can it could be a problem. Um, with those setups, I typically run a braid to fluorocarbon or a blade, braid to mono. So I'm running, let's say, eight to 10 pound braid and then a six to eight foot, six pound fluorocarbon leader with a double jig setup uh, on those long jig rods, especially if I'm uh, trying to fish over some deep timber. Some areas you can go straight braid. The, the crappie really don't care. Um, I typically on some dirtier water systems, that's the case, but on most river systems and reservoir systems that are a little bit clearer water, you probably want to go to a mono or fluorocarbon leader uh, when you're fishing with a, a jig, a longer jig rod. So those are the setups that I'm going to be using this summer. Um, let me know in the comment section if you use a different setup on a lake, river, pond, reservoir system where you're at. Uh, good luck on the water this year, and again, be sure to go to OTHfishing.com. Use promo code DAVIS for 20% off your entire order. Pick up some crappie monster lures this summer, and if you're in the market for a net so you can put that big crappie in the boat, check out the lineup of nets that Crappie Monster has to offer as well. Appreciate you watching. Again, if you got any comments or questions, post them in the comment section below, or you can message me on either Facebook or Instagram. I always appreciate hearing from you. Good luck on the water this summer. Have a ton of fun and catch a ton of fish.